More than 110,000 Americans are currently waiting for a life-saving transplant. In Ohio alone, over 3,400 people need transplants. I was the oldest of four siblings. We were all very close, but I would say the bond between Aaron and I especially, and then between Andrew and I, was pretty significant. Erin was um, almost 17 and she had this um, vibrant blonde hair and her personality um, matched it. We would just blast songs really loud and sing to them and be silly. We always talked about, you know, when we would get married and our wedding and how she'd be my maid of honor and I'd be her maid of honor. And we, she was just really sweet and like, how could you not be her friend? Her Facebook page had 600, 700 people on it. Laughter wasn't very far away with both of the students when they came through. Um, that's what I, I think of when I remember Andrew and, and uh, Aaron. Andrew loved sports. Um, he could live, eat, drink, sleep sports. He was funny. He was outgoing. Uh, he always wanted to be doing something. He and I would, uh, we would play sports together, video games, I just hang out sometimes, and sometimes we even studied for school. He was just getting to that age where he was kind of starting to, you know, maybe want to go to the movies with not just his guy friends, but with girls. There's friends, there's best friends, and then there's those friends who spend like almost every weekend together, and that was us. The, the day started out like any other day. I was, I had an early meeting, um, so my dad was coming over to the house, which he did fairly frequently to help get the kids off to school. Um, and I got up that morning, was getting ready to leave, and I went and woke Aaron up, and we said our goodbyes. And I woke Andrew up, and I said, we'll see you later. I did hear some kind of a bang, but I didn't realize what happened. Uh, a few minutes later, Sean came down and said, that I, th I think Aaron's car got hit. I got a call from my mom saying that um, Aaron and Andrew had been in an accident. They, they called in the uh, helicopter, you know, the life flight. Uh, at first they called two and then they called one off. We knew then that Aaron did make it. Aaron sat in front of me in English, which is my first class. And I texted her asking where she was. And I never got anything back. Uh oh. When they got to the scene, uh, within minutes, um, they didn't know if it was a brother, a sister, a boyfriend, a girlfriend because uh, they were holding hands. You know, it's hard to think something so common as a car accident could kill your best friend. When we got the call from Life Bank for Aaron, they said we're calling you because on her driver's license she was listed as an organ donor. Every year, over 2,000 Ohioans have their eyesight restored through cornea transplants. Very lucky person, we got those eyes. It was devastating. And to know that Aaron was lost was terrible. And I kept holding out hope for Andrew. Um, and the doctor came in and said they were taking him up to ICU where we met with the neurologist who said he, he had no brain activity. Brain death is the total irreversible loss of all brain function. It's caused by disease or injury which causes all brain activity and blood flow to permanently stop. A person can never recover from brain death. You know, we didn't make the decision for Andrew to be an organ donor until the morning of discussing with the neurologist that, um, you know, his recovery was, you know, was not going to happen. Age, race, gender, fame, wealth, none of these influence who gets transplants. Organs are matched to recipients by blood and tissue type, size, medical urgency, time on the waiting list, and geographic location. Organ donation opportunities are rare. Less than 1% of all people will die through brain death, which makes organ donation possible. 18 people die every day waiting for a transplant. 
um, Andrew was able to donate his heart, um, his kidneys, his liver, his pancreas. One person has the power to save eight lives through organ donation and to help improve the lives of 50 others through tissue donation. The heart, lungs, liver, kidneys, pancreas, and small intestine are all organs that can be donated. Tissue that can be donated includes corneas from the eyes, bone, blood vessels, heart valves, skin, tendons, and ligaments. People often have misconceptions about organ donation. They think that medical professionals won't try to save their lives if they're injured in an accident because another patient needs a heart or a lung. No matter what is shown on TV or at the movies, this isn't true. Organ, eye, and tissue donation takes place only after every effort has been made to save the patient's life. Death has been confirmed, and the family has been consulted. Many think that religious beliefs prevent them from becoming organ, eye, and tissue donors, when in fact, all major religions in the United States support donation. We don't feel that Aaron or Andrew either were treated differently. They both received phenomenal care, one as a registered donor and one not because he wasn't old enough to have a driver's license. To my donor's family, when I was 12 years old, I found out that I had diabetes. Little did I know what that would entail. I've had many complications over the years relative to this disease. It's affected every part of my life. The years that followed have been filled with hospital stays, doctor visits. In one of my visits to my many doctors, I found out my kidneys were failing and I needed dialysis. My kidney doctors put me in touch with the transplant office and we set up all the testing to be placed on the transplant list. On April the 30th, at 12.30 in the morning, I got a call from the transplant coordinator's office and they told me to get to the hospital because they thought they had a kidney and pancreas that might be a match for me. On Monday, November 8th, I was allowed to celebrate my 52nd birthday because of the most generous act a human being could possibly bestow on another human being. Well, in the darkest, agonizing moment of your life, you reached out of the darkness and gave me life. We want to thank God for being so gracious to us, and we want to thank you, donor family, for your kind and unselfish act of generosity. I think about you every day, and we'll never take this gift for granted. I think there's so many people out there who are struggling with, you know, diseases and things and have lost parts of their body that these, just checking off that you're an organ donor is like such a selfless act to do. It, it, you can really be someone's hero by just saying, I want to be an organ donor. I think, I think he's really happy, just like he's, I bet he'd probably be, uh, if he could, he'd probably be uh, gloating in it, just showing off, like, yeah, I did this. I'll be the first one to check off the little box that says being an organ donor just you know, from knowing Aaron and Andrew and knowing all the good that can come from it. In Ohio, when you get a driver's license, permit, or state ID card, you'll be asked if you want to become an organ, eye, and tissue donor. You're encouraged to talk about it with your family and let them know of your decision. It's good to be an organ donor because to know that someone who, had, who is dying because they need an organ or something. Um, it's good to know that they'll go on living because of you. I'm happy that they were organ donors. But having that opportunity to, to give back is just a gift that you should, without a doubt, take advantage of. Our grief is real and is painful, and we were also though able to acknowledge that those recipients had a hard road as well, and that the fact that my children helped take away some of their pain is to me very comforting. If you're 15 and a half and have your driving permit, license, or state ID card, you can choose to donate life today.